Hello everybody! In this LibreOffice Calc tutorial, we are going to go over how you can calculate a running total. Here we have a little data set with all the months of the year and the amount put into savings for each month. Now let's say that we wanted to find out the running total for each month. To do that, let's type out equals, sum, let's go ahead and start with our first cell reference, colon, second cell reference. Then we want to go ahead and lock the first cell reference. In this case, since we're not copying the cell reference over, we're just copying it down, let's go ahead and lock the whole reference. Now we can hit enter and let's copy it down. Here we have our running total. So for example, you can see that this 75 is 35 plus 25 plus 15. And if you want to see how this is working, go ahead and click in the cell, and you can see each month that we click in the cell, it is including the current cell and everything before it, and giving us the sum, okay? Here's another example. All the way down to the end. So again, real quick, we use sum. Start with your first cell reference, colon, put in the second cell reference. For the formula for the first cell, make sure you lock that first cell reference because as you drag it down, that acts as an anchor to the first cell reference, thus giving you the running total sum. In our next example, we will go over how you can create a running total with a simple pivot table. Okay, let's go ahead and insert our pivot table. You can go up to insert, pivot table, or you can click on the pivot table icon here. Now one thing to point out, if you're using pivot tables on the Mac, there's a little bit of a bug that we'll show you in just a second. If you're using pivot tables with LibreOffice Calc on Windows, you probably will not see this bug. Okay, so our current selection here is what we want to use for our pivot table. Let's click OK. Let's go ahead and drag our months to our row fields. And this is the bug that you might see if you're using LibreOffice Calc on the Mac. However, if you just continue setting up your pivot table, everything should work just fine. Now, let's take our savings and drag that to the data fields. And then, let's take the savings and drag it to the data field again. Now, for this second savings, let's go ahead and double-click it. The function that we want to use is sum. Let's click this displayed value dropdown. For the type, click that dropdown, then go to running total in. And the base field that we want is the month. If you're ever setting up this running total and it does not give you the results that you want, you might have to change this base field to make sure that you get the correct results. We should be good to go with this. Let's hit OK. Now, instead of putting this pivot table in another tab, let's go ahead and put it in the same worksheet. So let's click Selection, and let's just put it right here. Let's click OK, and you can see we get our pivot table with our months, the savings, and our running total for the savings. Now using our formula from earlier, let's double check this. Sum, use our cell reference, colon, cell reference. Make sure you lock or anchor that first cell reference. Let's hit enter, drag it down, and let's just do a quick comparison to make sure our pivot table matches our formula. Our pivot table matches. It looks good, we're good to go. That's all we have for this LibreOffice Calc tutorial on how to calculate a running total. We will be doing many more Calc tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.